Welcome back to a Good Day, where we love local, especially local small businesses. Yeah, so Diane is at one local business mm -hmm. this morning that has taken candle making to the next level. All right. Good morning Good to morning. you, Diane. Good morning. I wish you could smell this. I still have to invent, you know, scratch and sniff TV because <laughs> we are making candles this morning and um, I've already taken the time to pick out my scents. So um, also we are at uh, Callisto Terra here in West Toledo, right on Hill Avenue. So you're just going to look, find us in the corner of the strip mall and that's where you're going to have some fun. So I'm going to bring Taylor in. You are the owner of this business. So before we talk about, um, you know, your adventures that you've had, first off, let me get started. So we can get right into it. Yes, okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to build our, our fragrance. Okay. So we have our selection of fragrance oils here, and then we have our shot glass. Okay. We're gonna fill the shot glass all the way up to the top with our selection of fragrance oils. So let's take our shot glass and set it inside. All of the right. Jar. That way if it gets knocked over, we don't have to worry about it getting all over the place. Oh, that's good, I am messy. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> so we just want to open up the tops. Right. Add in a little bit of fragrance oil. Okay. Of each one. Hopefully it's even. Yeah. But I still have a lot. So as we're filling these up, um, first off, tell us how you got started in Callisto Terra. Yes, so I actually got a candle making kit for Christmas in December of 2020. And I loved it so much that I decided I was going to start my own candle making business yeah. three months later. So that's a, well, a great that's gift nice. that you got. So oh, you've yeah. been doing this. Um, this is your your third location as far as kind of moving because your business has just really taken off mm -hmm. and you're just continuing to grow. Yes, yeah. We were downtown at the Art on Market shops. Uh, we shared the same building as the Libby Glass um, okay. factory outlet. So we were down there September. December 21 is when we started, and then we got the keys for here December of 22. Okay, so yeah, so you've been here getting comfortable. Yes. And tell us, you know, you're, you're a single mom and your kids, and they're, you know, here at the, the studio. They're helping yeah. with the classes. So talk about having your family here and then how they help make the experience come alive. Oh, man. So <laughs> actually the jars that we're going to be using, we make these jars right here in-house, and my kids have helped make every single one of these jars. They set up for the candle class. Classes. They do have to go to school, unfortunately. I love spending time with them. So yeah. it's like they, you know, we have to separate for school, but they come here after school and they help with any classes that we might be, we might have going on in the evening during the week. Yeah, um, any and specialty I'm, things we do on the weekends, they're here. Um, a lot of times they're watching TV, but yeah, most but of the time they're helping. You said that they're still helping with the classes and mm -hmm. you're definitely going to see them here um, at the shops. So that's nice to have them to be a part of it. So I'm kind of stirring up. I'm glad that we are um, in the in the container because I have spilt a little and in here. Right. But of course you have the multiple scents and all the jars. So before we talk about that, what do I do next? Do I just keep stirring? Yes. So Okay. Our next step is actually going to be taking our fragrance oil that's in our shot glass and pouring it into our candle wax. Okay, cool. So before we do that, though, let's talk also, though, about some of the other products that you have because we can make our own or maybe if we're just like, ooh, I'm not sure, you also have candles here that we can purchase. Yeah, absolutely. So we make our candles from scratch right here in the shop, and we always have a few at least on the shelf. <laughs> Sometimes it's, you know, hit or miss because we're really busy with hosting the candle making experience so when we have time to make the candles we'll make sure that we get them up on the shelf so you can always stop in and grab some they of course make perfect gifts candles are so fun because you can get them for people that you like and don't like yeah they're very flexible, <laughs> they're very flexible. <laughs> and so everybody loves like a candle and you can just stop on in and we have the candles we have wax melts and then we also do concrete homeware so we have trays that you can decorate your end tables with, you know, in your living room, your kitchen. They're friendly in the bathroom. I have a few in there holding like soap and toothpaste and stuff. Oh, fun. <laughs> yeah. And that's nice because you have the ability, you make your own concrete dishes here, mm -hmm. so you can really make them how they need to be. Absolutely. Now, you offer classes, but what about, you know, those who are maybe like, oh, I have a group, maybe a bachelorette mm -hmm. party or maybe a group of gals or just, you know, parents and their kids coming in. Is yes. it, you know, a private groups available to come Absolutely. here? Absolutely. Yeah, we host private groups more than we host anything else. Oh, so, 
I get groups coming in. Um, we just had the Jack and Jill organization come in this past week, and that was a group of about 15. So we can accommodate larger groups. And then I had a couple come in last night who are actually wanting to get into candle making themselves. Oh. So you can come in and actually learn the art of candle making, or you can just come in with your friends and have and have fun. Time. Yeah. Okay. So well, we have a little bit of time here left. I go and pour my oils into the hot wax. Yes. Okay. And this wax is like 180 degrees. Yeah. It's very hot. It's very okay. hot. You want the wax to be hot so that it can receive all that beautiful fragrance. You just work so all hard. All right. Yes. So once you get that in there, you're going to take your stir stick and you're okay. just going to stir it up a little bit. You should right. be able to actually see the fragrance swirling around. Oh. I can see yeah, some of those yeah. oils in there, my creation. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do this for about a minute, mm -hmm. and then we'll pour it into the dish, yep. correct? Okay, so we'll have to give you a checkup, Amanda and Stephen, of what we have going. But again, Taylor, remind us of where we can find you online and also then your location here. Right, so it's CallistoTerra.com. I always tell people, I'm like, if you just look up, Google Callisto Terra, we're going to pop up. Perfect. Um, and we're right <laughs> here at the corner of Hill and Reynolds. We're at 5223 Hill Avenue. Cool, and you are in the corner here of the strip mall yes, just so everybody right can middle. find you. Yeah, right, right in, in the, the middle. middle. So I'm going to continue to kind of stir this on. So Amanda and Steven, I'll be coming back here about a half hour or so to give you an update and hopefully it looks just as nice chilling in this dish. <laughs> I'm sure it will. Yeah, I think you know what you're doing, Diane. So keep stirring. And it'll <laughs> smell good too. It's going to smell good.